Hello and welcome to Baiju's exam prep IAS. Let's get started and look into our daily quiz. Let's look into the first question. Which of the following is are examples of software as a medical device? Applications for viewing images from MRI, ultrasound or X-ray examinations, CT scan, computer aided detection software for image post processing for detecting cancer, insulin pump. Which of these are examples of software as a medical device? The answer to this is 1 and 3 only. Why have we taken this practice question? Because this article on the Hindu makes a reference to software as a medical device. Let us try and understand what are these examples. First, we have to understand that the healthcare system in our country as well as world over is improving with time. Earlier, what we had was some of the basic technological inventions in the form of magnifying glass, stethoscope, so on and so forth. But of late, what we are introducing is new types of technology, artificial intelligence is being used and one such example of technology innovation is what is called as software as a medical device. Now the question is what is the software as a medical device and what is its difference between software in a medical device. First let us understand the meaning of software in a medical device. Let's say for example we have a medical device. Let's say we have the CT scanner. If the CT scanner or any other device where software is part of it is what is called a software in a medical device. So we have a medical device. In this medical device software is also used. It is not independent. So the software is not acting independently but it is just a part of the medical device that is what is called a software in a medical device. So we have a medical device and the software is part of it, one of the part of it which is called a software in a medical device. For example, if you take the CT scanners or any other medical device like for example the MRI, this itself has number of softwares. So that is the example of software in a medical device. Now what is this software as a medical device? Software as a medical device basically means it is able to act independently. It does not require the assistance of any other device. For example, applications for viewing images from MRI, ultrasound or X-ray examinations computer aided detection software for image post processing for detecting cancer, software using AI for analyzing the test results and detecting pathologies where software is being used, applications is being developed, they are able to act independently without any help or the assistance of a device. So if there is a software which is being used within a medical device that is not a software as a medical device. For example, if they have to fit into this particular particular criteria of software as a medical device, it has to perform medical manipulations, directly take part in the treatment processes and at the same time it can be launched on generic hardware devices, let's say for example smartphones, computers, tablets, smartwatches etc. That will fit into what is called as software as medical device. So remember when you look into this practice question, the CT scan, insulin pump are not the example of software as a medical device primarily because they cannot act independently. If they are able to act independently, that is what is called as software as a medical device. And do note, whenever we speak about such softwares or any of the devices, this can also be hacked as well. This can also be misused by the technological experts as well. So this article currently goes on to say that in the past there have been examples where ransomware has been used. What is this ransomware? Let's say for example, there is a particular software in the system. So what do these hackers do? They hack into that particular software making use of the loophole that exists in that particular software. So they encrypt this particular software. So if this has to be decrypted and has to be used by that particular hospital, they have to pay a certain amount of money. They have to pay a certain amount of ransom, which is what is called as ransomware. So basically, because we are using a lot number of softwares in the healthcare system, there are hackers who are encrypting it and they are also expecting some money so that they can decrypt it and allow that particular hospital 
to use the software. Now let's look into the next practice question. Consider the following pairs. We have the village on one side, the unique heritage of the village on the other side. Rainy, Chipko movement, Modera, first solar powered village in India, Suketi, Asia's oldest fossil park is present in this village and Vidurashtvatar is linked to Mahabharata. How many pairs given above are correctly matched? The answer to this is all four pairs. Why have we taken this practice question? Because this article on the Hindu makes a reference to villages as well as their cultural asset, environmental asset and some of the important assets that are present in this particular village. This is part of the national mission for cultural mapping. So remember, we have a mission called as the national mission for cultural mapping. What does it do? This happens to be one of the initiatives of the Ministry of Culture. Basically, in a particular village, there can be a cultural asset. There can be artists who are present in that particular area. There can be people who have unique talent as well. So identifying the unique asset of this particular village and the artisans who are present in that particular particular village and bringing them on a database is what is called as the national mission for cultural mapping. So basically that is a comprehensive database of artists, art forms and other resources that is gathered from cultural organizations in the ministry of culture as well as other ministries. So relevant data will be fed into this particular system by collecting the information from the Sahitya Academy, Lalita Kala Academy, Sangeet Natak Academy, National School of Drama, Center for Cultural Resources and Training, Zonal Cultural Center, so on and so forth. Under this particular mission, what we also have is Mera Gao Meri Darohar, which stands for My Village, My Heritage. So as part of identifying the village, they have now understood that there are few unique assets, unique heritage that are present in that particular village, which is identified as part of this program. So if we have to look into this particular program, it has mapped the villages and it is broadly divided into seven to eight categories based on whether they are important ecologically developmentally or scholastically whether they produce textile or any other product so on and so forth so under the ecological category for example what we have is the Bishnoi village this is near Jodhpur in Rajasthan which is a case study for living harmony with the nature then we have the rainy village which is famous for the Chipko movement so where did the Chipko movement start there can be another question and you remember it started in a village rainy in Uttarakhand then we also have Modera this happens to be the first solar powered village in India. Another important prelim question. Suketi in Himachal Pradesh happens to have the Asia's oldest fossil park. Pandretan in Kashmir is the village of Shaivite mystic. Lal dead are classified as the historical importance. Then what we have is different kinds of other unique attributes which are identified and ultimately it is part of this My Village My Heritage which is under National Mission for Cultural Mapping. Now let's look into the next practice question. Which of the following statements is the best description of mission Ari Kumban? A mission to ensure the safe Mitse Sajjan of breeding olive ridley sea turtles in Odisha, a concerted effort towards saving the tigers in Karnataka, it is an operation to capture wild tusker in Kerala, conserving the remaining population of critically endangered great Indian bustard in Rajasthan. Which of the following is the best description of mission Ari Kumban? The answer to this is it is an operation to capture wild tusker in Kerala. Why have we taken this practice question? Because of the reference in the Hindu article. So what is this mission Ari Kompan? This is in reference to a wild tusker. We have a wild tusker which is present in the Iduki district in Kerala. Of late, what we see is the human-animal conflict. So conflict between the humans as well as the animals. And this happens to be a wild tusker where people have been killed as well. And at the same time, it has destroyed large swathes of land of the farmers as well. So in order to capture it, in order to tranquilize it, in order to make sure that this particular elephant is captured, what we have is a mission which is called as the Mission Ari Kompan. So Ari Kompan happens to be one of the missions which has taken place in the state of Kerala where they have to capture a wild tusker, 
tranquilize it and ensure that people are safeguarded their grains and farming land is also safeguarded so basically the forest department has initiated this plan to capture the wild tusker and they wish to do it by tranquilizing it and later shifting it to the elephant training center now let's look into the next practice question with respect to biogas which of the following statements is are correct biogas is produced through a biochemical process in which certain types of bacteria convert the biological waste into useful biogas the process of biogas production is anaerobic in nature cattle dung has been recognized as the chief raw material for biogas plants other materials like night soil poultry litter and agricultural waste can also be used which of the statements are correct the answer to this is 1 2 and 3 Why have we taken this practice question? Because of the reference in the Indian Express article. So this article on the Indian Express makes a reference to biogas, which is why we have taken this practice question. So when we speak about biogas, it is produced from a biochemical process in which certain types of bacteria convert the biological waste into useful biogas. So the first statement is right. So what is the biological waste that is used? What we can make use of is the cattle dung added to it. We can also make use of the night soil, poultry litter, agricultural waste, so on and so forth. So the first and the third statements are right. When it comes to second statement, the process of biogas production is anaerobic in nature. What do we understand by this? Basically, biogas is generated during the anaerobic digestion when all these microorganisms break down. That is, they eat the organic materials. in the absence of air or the oxygen which is why it is called as anaerobic so all the three statements are right what are the advantages of biogas production the required raw materials for all the biogas production are available abundantly in the villages so we make use of these raw materials it not only produces the biogas but also gives us rich slurry that can also be used in the crop production as well availability of the biogas would reduce the use of firewood and hence trees could also be saved as well however there are few issues that are associated with respect to the biogas as well one is pollution caused by burning out fossil fuels and other materials and this can also have some health impact as well now let's look into the next practice question which one of the following states is nearest to the international dateline malacca state bering state state of florida state of gibraltar the answer to this is bering state so if we look into the map this happens to be the international dateline so which is the sea that is close by what we have is the bering sea and the state that is present is the bering state so this happens to be a previous year question from the year 2008 Now let's look into the fact of the day. The fact of the day for today's discussion happens to be tempo. What does it mean? It stands for tropospheric emissions monitoring of pollution. This is an initiative that is taken by NASA. So NASA launches a device to monitor air pollution from space which is called as tempo or tropospheric emissions monitoring of the pollution. Let's understand what is this instrument in greater detail. This instrument tempo happens to be an instrument that is manufactured by NASA and this will basically aim to ensure that it is able to measure the air pollution that is taking place in North America in and around North America as well from the space. So remember this tempo is an instrument which will allow the scientists to monitor air pollutants and whenever we speak about air pollution we have different kinds of sources so let's say for example vehicle happens to be one of the source let's say for example the industries the manufacturing units are one of the other sources so how are these being emitted so identifying the sources and at the same time air pollution in north america and its neighborhood is the primary objective of tempo so the instrument will measure pollution and air quality across north america on an hourly basis during the day time and it will measure from puerto rico up until the tar sands of canada this data can be used by the us environmental protection agency it can also be used by noaa which happens to be national oceanic atmospheric administration and other agencies which are responsible for tackling the atmospheric 
pollution in United States of America. What is the unique feature of Tempo? It is about the size of a washing machine. So basically this will be hosted in the space and ultimately it will be able to collect all the data with respect to the pollution. So the pollution data will be collected and this pollution data when collected can be used by all these agencies and ultimately measures can be taken as well. When we consider the pollution monitoring satellites as of now they are all placed in the low earth orbit but when it comes to tempo happens to be hosted on an interstate communication satellite in the geostationary orbit. What is the significance of tempo? It will help in not only the research work but also improving the quality of life on earth as well and at the same time how much of emissions happens from the traffic from the vehicle and is it because of the volcanoes is it because of the forest fires all the data will be collected and ultimately agencies will work about it and they will ensure that pollution is reduced over a period of time. Why was this taken up by United States of America? That is because when you look into the data about 40% of the US population which is close to 137 million people live in those areas which has unhealthy or high levels of pollution and as a result many people have also passed away as well. This has resulted in death because because of the pollution so in order to increase the quality of life prevent the pollution in United States of America they have come up with tempo so among the pollutants tracked by tempo it will be nitrogen dioxide it will be formaldehyde there will be other pollutants which will also be monitored as part of this initiative it is this that we have to understand with respect to this topic so this is it for today thank you for watching all the best